so you've been out here for a minute. You, you've been out here since we started. You've been here for a second. Brother, you just walked up. What's your name? Taiwan. Taiwan, Zakaya, and Anastasia. I'm gonna forget that. I just want y'all to know that, all right? But I wanna say, don't stand here for the, you've been here for a minute. Don't let what you're hearing just go in one ear and straight out another. Because inside of a, these buildings, you're not gonna hear what you're hearing today in these buildings, right. all right? Many of our people hear the word and they do not hear. They hear it, but they don't hear, because hear means to what? To understand, to get an understanding. So you should be standing here getting an understanding of what you need to do. What is your next step? Like you was just asking after hearing this information. Yeah, read that real quick. Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 26. Nevertheless, they were disobedient. So our disobedience is what caused the situation that we're in right now. Do we agree? Yes. We went over the slave ships. We went over the things that we've done by following out to the other nations that landed us here in America in captivity. So our rebelliousness has put us in this position. Read. They rebelled against thee uh -huh. and cast thy law behind their backs. It was the casting of God's laws behind our back that did this. That's what we did against our God. Because the brother was going to get it in Joel, we are the only ones that have a God. Right? These other nations and these other people out here that worship these gods like you was going over Buddha, Krishna, these are not gods. Right. We are the only ones that have a true and living God. Right. Right. And slew thy prophets. Uh -huh, and, they, and we slew the prophets. We didn't want to hear of the, in the days of old the prophets that were bringing out the word of God to educate our people, to help our people understand that we need to repent and keep the commandments. That is how we maintain rulership. We fell from that. Come on. Which testified against them. Read on. To turn them to thee. Uh huh. And they wrought great provo provocations. Uh huh. Therefore, thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies. What happened? Therefore, thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies. So we're still talking about what? What has happened? What has transpired? As you read down on it, it's talking about the casting of the law, right? Casting the law behind their back? Yeah, that's the top part. Okay, read that part again. Nevertheless, they were disobedient uh -huh. and rebelled against thee and cast thy law behind their backs. So now what do we do? Like the sister said, get that in Deuteronomy chapter 10. Yep. What do we do now? Now that we know that what? What's your nationality? You're an Israelite from what? Judah. Judah. From the tribe of Judah. That's that is who you are. From this day moving forward, you shouldn't be calling yourself black. What's your nationality, brother? You're Judah. You're an Israelite. If you are a so-called black man here in this country, you are from the tribe of Judah. Right. You should be asking, well, how you how, how you know that? Am I are y'all you supposed to believe me? How do you know that? What is the, what does that say that you're from the tribe of Judah and that Judah would be in this land? Uh, in this, in this, during this time right here, bring it out. The Bible, we're gonna find out. But first, let's read what we are to do now that we know that we're Israelites from the tribe of Judah. Read Deuteronomy chapter ten, verse twelve. Bring it out now, Israel. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Now, Anastasia, uh, Zakaya, and Taiwan. Yes. Read it again. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? What does God require of you? What is your name, brother? You were standing back there for at least 30, 40 minutes. John, and what's your name, brother? David. David. What does God now require of you? You believe you're an Israelite? You, you do believe you're an Israelite? You believe you're an Israelite? Did the curses of Deuteronomy happen to you? Give me hold, hold that, that sign right there. Did this happen to your people? No. Do you relate to this? Yep. So, y'all keep looking over here. Y'all over there on the other side of it. Did this happen to your people? Yep. How do we know that this is the plight of the tribe of the tribe of Judah. It's happening now. These images are not up here just to be on the ground up here. You should come take a look at these images. These images help verify and give you a visual picture of what's taking place in the Bible. Once you learn that you're an Israelite, once you learn that you're from the tribe of Judah, what you just gonna walk off and start telling people you're from the tribe of Judah? It doesn't work. I know because I did that. I learned that I was from the tribe of Judah in 2005 and that's all I learned and kept being a nigga in the world 
But Mosai kept making things happen to me over and over and over again until the revelation really came and said, I need to look a little bit further past this 5% stuff that I'm dealing with. I got to dig a little bit further past the Buddhism and all the isms that we've been that I've been dealing with. I done studied everything. And I always pushed away the Bible. So coming into the understanding that I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, I had to recognize what we're reading to you right now. Read it again. And now Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? God requires something from you. You can't just know that you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. To do what? Fear the Lord thy God. And fearing God, you know what's going to happen, Anastasia? You're going to find a way to come out of the pants and get you some dresses and some skirts. Will it be easy? No. Are you going to get ridiculed crew by your friends? Yes. No. Will you lose family? Yes, but guess what? You gain a whole nother family. A That's family right. of men and women that are keeping God's laws. Right. All right? So don't think when you do this that it's going to be an easy walk. It's not going to be an easy walk. You think if you come off of the streets, you, you, you gang bang? Have you gang bang before? No? But you lived the street life before. You know what it means to be in the street. You got more homies in the street than you got in a righteous organization, right? Do you think when you say, you know what? I'm no longer going to deal with the dudes in the street no more. I ain't messing with y'all no more. I'm gonna leave the homies alone for a minute. Now I'm gonna try to live my life as an Israelite according to the way God says that I must do it. You think you're gonna lose friends? Yeah, they're gonna try to jump on you. But guess what? That's what you got the word of God and your brethren for. Your protection is in the is in God's words. All right? I know, because again, I come from that. But in knowing that, and fearing God, you're gonna keep his commandments. Read that part again. But to fear the Lord thy God. Come on. To walk in all his ways. You gotta walk in all of God's ways. We can't choose to do some of it. Well, you know, um, all right, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on a dress, but I'm still going out to the club on Saturday night. Uh, I, I, I wear a hair wrap, but Friday, I gotta take the hair wrap off because me and my girls, we gotta go out to uh, you know, Friday night special. You get in for eleven. We gotta stop that. We gotta do what? Walk in all his ways. Uh huh. And to love him. And to love him, come on. And to serve the Lord thy God. To serve God in keeping the commandments. Read. With all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. Read on. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. And keeping the commandments, you know what you're gonna be doing on Saturday? Read the Bible. What are you gonna be doing on Saturday? You see that? That's the ignorance of our people. This is one of the reasons why we will not be in rulership if we continue with this type of behavior. This is what America is pushing on our people. This infeminine, weak spirit that is, that is what our men is carrying today. We got to come up out of that. We are not made to be weak men. We are a God, brother. You are made to rule the earth. That is why you're here. To rule this earth because it belongs to you. You are a slave in your own kingdom. These sisters should have strong men to run to when they're in need. Not some effeminate young man who thinks he knows everything. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, for thy good. Give me Romans 12 and 2, because it all starts here. He can't come out of that dumb philosophy that he's following. He can't come out of them weak ways until he decides to go within his mind and renew his mind. He has to change this. We can talk all day about change, but until you actually thought to apply the words of God, change will never happen. Read. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. No. And be not conformed to this world. The Bible says what? Be not conformed to this world. Do not be conformed to this world. The word of God is coming out to heal the chosen people, God's chosen people, the children of Israel. You see what's going on on the side? God has sent the word out to you people standing here today so that you can learn why we're in this condition, how we got in this condition, and what it takes to come up out of this condition. It starts with the renewing of your mind. Read. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Come on. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That you may prove what is that perfect and acceptable will of God. Get that in Psalms chapter 48. All right, get Psalms chapter 40, you know, the will of God. Because it is this renewing that takes place. You got to say, you know what? I understand the brothers brought out. I can't, a woman cannot wear pants. That is cross-dressing, and it is a sin according to the Bible, thus says the Lord. Once you understand that, okay, now you make, you make a decision. Look, all right, 
I get paid such and such time, or I need to do this and I need to do that so that I can get more skirts and more dresses. If you don't know how, guess what? There's a number on that flyer. Call that number, you're gonna reach this brother right here or this other brother over here. We have a school down the street full of women. We're not just men. The men are at war. We're warring against the doctrines that are in your mind so right. that you can come up out of this thing by the renewing of your mind. Read it again. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. Don't be conformed to this world. Do not accept what you've been giving. Here in America, you've been told that what? You are black. Most of y'all got on black shirts. But are you black? Are you black? Most of us been told that we're African American. Well, are you African American? Who? African Americans, raise your hand. Let me see one. Let me see an African American. Nobody raised their hand because you understand. This Bible does not have anything in it about African Americans. That is a part of renewing your mind. Renewing your mind and saying, you know what? I'm not an African American. I am an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. Now, now you must apply God's laws to your life. That ain't even that ain't even part of the battle. Alright, read. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Come on. That ye may prove. What is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? Let's find out what the will of God is. Read. Psalms chapter 40 verse 8. Come on. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Come on. Yea, thy law is within my heart. So David said that he delight to do the will of God. He said, yea, thy law. The laws of God, that is the will of God that we right. come here on this earth to do his will. That is why we were made. That is why we were given the earth. Go to second days, right? Six. What you got right there? I know you got it. Read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Come on. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So out of all the things that you heard today, y'all been standing here for a couple of hours. Out of everything that you've heard, let's find out what the conclusion of this is according to the Bible. For God. Do what? For God. Didn't we just read that somewhere else? All through the Bible, you will find fear God, fear God, fear God. But do you fear God if you blatantly do the things that you know you're not supposed to do? No, you don't fear God. And therefore, you will die in your sin if you don't repent. Free. And keep his commandments. Do what? Keep his commandments. Free. For this is the whole duty this is of what? man. This is what? This is the whole duty of man. This is the only reason that we were created. This is the only reason we were, we were created, to come to this earth and to rule this earth, not to be ruled over. But do you, are you ruling anything right now, brother? What do you rule right now? You rule yourself? So, when you are hungry, right? When you get hungry, what do you do when you're hungry? You go get something to eat? Huh? Yeah. Where you gonna get it from? Kitchen. From your kitchen? I make it. Oh, you make it? All right. Now, before you get the food in your kitchen that you make, where did you get that from? Store. From where? Store. Okay, from that store. Who owns that store? No. Do you own the store? No, I don't. You don't own the store, right? Okay. You don't own the store. Hold that right there. You don't own the store, right? Now, how did you get the money to buy the food that you had to that you want to go home and cook? How did you get the money for it? You work? You work? Okay. So do you own the do you own the job? Who owns the job? The same damn man that owns the store. The same damn man that grew the food or duplicated the food or made the food. So are you really ruling or are you being pacified by another man? You are being pacified by the so-called white man. He is your ruler. He is the ruler of this kingdom. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48. Come on. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. This is what we're doing here in America right now. We came to this country, thus said the Lord, to serve. Why? Because he, already, he gave you everything. He gave us everything. Jump back over to verse 15 right there. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you don't hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now go back to verse 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses. Oh, what were you just at? The one with you? 48. 48. 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. So if you don't hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Therefore, now you're going to serve your enemies. 
So we're here in America serving our enemies. Did we hearken to the voice of our God? You know. Did we hearken? No. No. Now we got to catch the damn bus. No. We sitting out here to catch the bus when we should be owning the bus. Right. Right. We sitting out here asking for food when we should be growing our own food. Right. We should right. be running our own farms. Right. Right. This is how we were made to be. We were made to be kings and rulers of this earth. Get that in Ezra. You got that? Six and uh nah. 54? Yeah. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 54. Come on. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord over all thy creatures. So Adam was made Lord over all the creatures, correct? Everybody know that story. Come on. Of him come we all. So we all come from Adam, right? Yeah. Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So, you telling me that God has a chosen people? Yes. Does God have a chosen people? Yes. Who are his people? Everybody. Who are us? Judah. The Israelites. Read. I think you're going to get out and do the run? Yeah. I'm going to let you get there. <laughs> I'm going to let you get there. Read. All, all this have I spoken before thee, uh, O Lord. Read. Because thou hast made it the world for our sakes. He did what? Made it the world. For our sakes. So God made the world for our sake. So if he made the world for our sake, why are we on the bottom? Why are we on the bottom? Why you got to ask what your next step is? When every step you take, it should be in rulership on this earth. Why is that now? Because we broke the commandments and have, and have been led away captive here in this captivity. Read. As for the other people. But there's another people that comes from God too. Read. Which also come of Adam. They come from Adam too. Read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. The people that led you into captivity, God said what? They are nothing. So you are being ruled. We are being ruled by a people that God considers nothing. Right. right. What, is, what, is, what is going on here? We are being ruled by a people that the Bible says, that the mouth of God says, are nothing. Are, they, are you hearing this? Why ain't pastor teaching this on Sunday? Why ain't pastor telling his congregation about this truth on Sunday? Because he just wants your money. That's right. He wants your money. He just needs you to put that hundred dollars that you have for your light bill in the collection plate. So that he can pay his high bill in his mansion. But the world was made for the Israelites' sake. God chose you. He didn't choose nobody else. Get that into the run. He didn't choose nobody else out of all the other people on the earth. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American, you're God's chosen jewel. You're his chosen people. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. No. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Bible says that you are an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. Say what? The Lord thy God have chosen thee. Read. To be a special people unto himself. So he chose a people that he made upright to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above. Below. Above. Come on. All people that are upon the face of the earth. Boy, that's racist. That's racist. Oh, racist. That's racist. You mean to tell me black people are above all people on the earth? Yeah. And it's written in the Bible? Yeah. Come on. Does somebody else's Bible say that? Or does this just, is that just in this Bible? Everybody Bible say that? Y'all Bible say that? Yes, sir. Everybody Bible. Why pastor didn't tell nobody that? Why pastor didn't tell nobody that? Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Come on. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you because you were more in number. So he said that God didn't set his love upon you, nor choose you because you were more in number. Come on. Than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. So we were less than all the other people that were here. And God said, you know what? I want this little small group of people right here. That's that's my people. So that's since right. I see you looking at the sign, where do you see yourself at on here? Where is your father? Right here? Because you are what your father is. So you would be from the tribe of what? Judah. The majority of the people out here are going to be from the tribe of Judah. How do we know that? How do we know this? Because what? Because it's written right here. Let's get that in uh, Genesis. Bring it up. Let's get that in Genesis. How can we prove that Judah is here in America? 
How we know Judah ain't somewhere over in another another land somewhere? How do we know that you all are from the tribe of Judah? I'm from the tribe of Judah. Most of these brothers here are from the tribe of Judah. Let's find out what the Bible says that pastor ain't teaching on Sunday. Genesis chapter 49 verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So this is a future prophecy about what? About what? That which will what? Befall you in the last days. About what's going to happen to you in the last days. We've all heard our grandma say, we in the last days. You heard that before? You heard that before, right, brother? What's your name? Nelson. Nelson. We've all heard grandma say that, right? Oh, boy, we live in the last days. Guess what? We are in the last days. Now, let's find out what was prophesied about these tribes, about these sons. Come on. Verse 8. Read. Judah, thou art whom thy brethren shall praise. Read it again. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. So it says, Judah is he whom his brethren shall praise. Who is Judah brethren? Come up here. Come up here. Come a little closer, sisters. Come here, brother. Who is Judah's brethren? When you look at the sign, who is Judah's brethren? All of these are Judah's brethren. So look, that means that Jamaicans are the are your brethren, like your blood brothers. Jamaicans, the people that call themselves Jamaicans, those are your blood brothers. The Haitians over there that everybody talk about, guess what? Those are your blood brothers. Right. The Puerto Ricans, the Cubans, the Dominicans, uh, people that live in Guatemala, the Panama, uh, who is this over here? Native American Indians, all the way down, guess what? Those are your blood relative brothers and sisters. That's right. So the Bible says what? Read it again. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. So these brethren of Judah, they're going to praise him. Why? Because we're the ones that's waking up to teach our people who they are. Right. It is Judah that is going to educate the rest of the brethren who they are in these last days. We're the one that's coming up with the understanding of this Bible so that we can retake this world that belongs to us. Right. Read. Right. Zechariah chapter 12 verse 7. Come on. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first. What the Bible said? The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first. First. So Judah is going to come to the understanding first that guess what? I am not a damn African American. That's right. How is it possible to come from Africa and America? Why am I the only one on the earth that is named after two continents? Right. Who in the hell is Africa and America? Africa comes from the name Leo Scipio Africanus who conquered an Israelite named Hannibal during the Second Punic Wars. Right. And he changed the name of the continent to his last name. So today we call it what? Africa. Amerigo Vespucci is named after, um, uh, America is named after Amerigo Vespucci, a so-called white man, yeah. because he came to America before Columbus. Why does country ain't named Columbus? Because he stole the country. Because his name, is he did not come here first. America Vespucci discovered or came to this land first because you can't discover a place that already exists. So when you say that you are African American, you say that you come from what? Two white men. You say you're coming from two white men. When you say I'm an African American, you're literally saying my uh my my daddies my daddies are black. Where your mother at? My daddies, African American, or that's two men. Is it is that possible? No. Two men can't produce life, right? No. So it says that Judah what? The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first. Uh -huh. That the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. So that's a little deep, but that's going into so that these other tribes don't magnify themselves against Judah. But the point that I want to make is that Judah will recognize first that we're not African Americans and we ain't black. Right. Color in a crayon box. Right. So now when you read back in Genesis chapter uh, 48. Genesis chapter 49 verse 8. Judah, thou art he, thine enemy. It says that Judah's hand shall be in the neck of his enemy. If we were enemies, right? And my hand was in your neck, how close are we? Very close. Very close. So, here in America, who is the enemy of Judah? His other brother. No. Yeah, yeah, his other brother. Who's his other brother? All the rest of them. No, 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 no. Listen to it again. 
Who is Judas? Who is the black man's enemy here in America? Let me say it like that. Who is the black man? Who did this to the black man? Give me that. Give me that. Let's make this clear, easy. Who did this to the black man? The so-called white man did this. Right. Whose name is Esau, sister? You are right. That's right. Whose name is Esau? You are right. So read that part again. His neck. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemy. So it says that Judah's hand is going to be in the neck of his enemy. If my hand is in your neck, what are we doing? Listen no, that's What are we doing? Killing We're struggling. There's a struggle for power and authority going on here. We're fighting. Read. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. So it says that thy father's children. Who's thy father's children? That's the rest of the tribes. They all come from the same father. Shall bow down before him. Not in a not in a, 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 a uh, reverence way. Like, You're my Lord. No. Because we woke them up. Because we are waking them up. So in the last days, we know that the children of Israel that live in America are from the tribe of Judah. Right. Because our hands have been in the neck of our enemy since we got off the slave ship here. Right. right. We've been right. fighting right. against the devil since the day we landed on this continent. Right. right. And the only way out of that is to change through the commandments. It's to change our minds like we were just reading in Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Right. That's how we know who you are. That's how you know who you are today. But you gotta come out of your way of the ways of America. Go to Revelation 18 and verse 4. Bring it out! Bring it out! Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. Come on. And I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, come my out of people. What? Come out of her. Now, what is America known as? The melting pot. You're right. <laughs> you, you're, you're right. Guess what? But you are a part of that damn melting system that's destroying our people. You are part of that. But when to, the, 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 the symbol for America is the bird, but there is a harlot or a woman that sits on the water. What's that called? The Statue of Liberty. I'll just give it to you. Read that part again. Come out of her, my people. That ye be not partakers of our sins. God said, come out of America. Come out of her. Come out of her. Mentally. That you be not partakers of our sins. Because if you don't, you are going to be destroyed when this country is destroyed. Right. You want to take part in that? You don't want no parts in that? What about you? What about you, brother? Do you want parts in the destruction coming in? No? I have a question. You don't, you don't, look, you don't look too sure about that thing. I have a question. But if you don't desire that, guess what you have to do? Guess what it's your job to do now, sis? Bible. You damn right. Because I, and I know you're serious. I've been watching you. I know, I know that there's something going on here. But you must, you must come into this change. You must give up the ways of America. You must give that a read it from the top again. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven say. A voice from heaven is telling you this right now, sis. It's telling you too, sister, what? Come out of her. To what? Come out of her. Come out of her philosophies. Come out of that church. Come out of Christianity. Come out of Christmas. Come out of Thanksgiving. Come out of birthdays. Come out of the 4th of July. Come out of all the nonsense that you've learned here in America and come back to the Bible. Right. Come back to keeping God's laws. Read. My people. What? My people. God made that personal. He said my people. He didn't say everybody. My people. So-called white people. My people. Uh, So-called Japanese people. My people. God says my people. No. Go back. Hold that. Go on, on back on over there. Go on, on back on over there. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 1. Come on. Yet now hear, O Jacob. Who? Oh, Jacob. Who is Jacob? Jacob names were changed to what? Israel. We are the children of Israel. Right. Say what now? Now, yet, now hear, O oh, Jacob, oh, my of servant. Israel. Come on. And Israel. And who? Israel. Come on. Whom I have chosen. Whom what? Whom I have chosen. Did it say he choose everybody? Yes. Did it say he choose everybody? No. You see that? He wants everybody to be involved. But they are not. Oh, they're going to be involved. They are. They are going to be involved. Read. Thus saith the Lord that made thee uh -huh. and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. For not, O Jacob, my servant, uh -huh. 
and thou, Jeshron, whom I have chosen. So God only chose one people. Go back to Revelation 18, finish that, and then I want you to go to Isaiah chapter 14. Because we're going to show you, brother. Yeah, they all going to be with us. They will come. Come, read that. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. So God said, Come out of her. That nonsense that's going into your ear right now. Push that to the side. That is the damn devil the Bible speaks of. Right. Hey. Come out of her. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. Look at all the sin that's on his brother. This brother is the, is a sodomite to the fullest. Right. And is happy with it. Right. He's happy being a weak and a feminine black man. Right. Right. This is right. what they're trying to push as the new idea you and the new character her. of a you black man. Right. Read it again. And that... And I, and I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, Anastasia. Come on, read. That ye be not partakers of a sin. That you ain't got no, will have no parts of the destruction that this brother is going to receive. Read. And that ye receive not of her plagues. That you what? Receive not of her plagues. That's a damn plague standing next to you. Move over that way a little bit. Go on over that way a little bit. That's a damn plague standing next to you. Now go to Isaiah chapter 14. Isaiah yeah. chapter 14 verse 1. Because they're all going to come to the kingdom of heaven, but they will not be in rulership. Read. But the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Lord is still going to have mercy on the children of Israel. Read. And will yet choose Israel. And will yet what? Yet choose Israel. Why does the Bible keep saying choose Israel, yeah. chosen Israel, people Israel, yeah. because we are God's chosen people. Yeah. Right. And set them in their own land. He's going to set us back in our own land. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And what? The strangers. The strangers? Who are the strangers? That's your so-called white man. That's your so-called Japanese man. Right. That's all these other nations that are outside of the children of Israel. Right. They are the strangers. Come on. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to cleave to us in these last days. Come on. And the people shall take them. And we're going to take them. Come on. And bring them to their place. We're going to bring them to our place. Read. And the house of Israel uh -huh. shall possess them. Shall do what? Possess them. Those shoes are your possession, right? Are they my possession? They're yours, right? What did God say? Shall possess God them. God says that you are going to possess these other nations, meaning you are going to own them. They will be yours like it was in the beginning. Now, Read. In the land of the Lord for servants. For what? Servants. You ever had somebody put your foot up on a pedestal and just do it? But I'm talking about without paying them. You know, just do your toes and they're going to be what? For servants. They're going to be yours. You ever had somebody just come knock on your door, carry you to the uh, 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 kitchen, and, and you ain't the only one you touch my fork. Just open my mouth. I'm open my mouth. You just feed. You ever had that? The God said what? For servants. They will be your servants. Come right. on. And handmaids. And handmaids. Come on. And they shall take them captives uh -huh. whose captives they were. Now, give me that sign right there. Let's make this clear. Right. Who is captive on here? Who's the captive here? We are. We are the captive. Read that again. And they shall take them captives uh -huh. whose captives they were. God said that we're going to take them captive whose captives we were. So who led you in the captivity? You're going to take them in the captivity. Read on. And they shall rule. And they shall what? Rule over their oppressors. Get out of here. The Bible didn't say that. What? And they shall rule. You will rule. Come on. Over their oppressors. Read. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord, in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. He's going to give you rest from the sorrow in that day. In that day, it won't be no more working. Right. In that day, it won't be no more alarm clocks waking you up. Right. In that day, it won't be no more light bill. It right. won't be no more rent. You right. will own the earth. Do you want right. that? It is high time you wake up and repent. Right. Read. Right. And from thy fear, and from the hard bondage. From the what? Hard bondage. Come on. Wherein thou was made to serve. So you were made to serve in hard bondage here in America. Right. In this day. That is going to be done. That's right. You need to come back into the mindset of an Israelite. How do you do that? By calling the number on the back of that flyer, coming down to the school every Sabbath, every week at 4 o'clock to learn how to become the princess that you are. Right. It is high time we come out of this condition that we are in. All right? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision 
The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.